Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist, here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing people and events. Today I'm joined by a beautiful, amazing woman who is owner of Indulgence Blow Dry Lounge. She does something very, very special for women. Good morning. Good morning. Diana. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, me too. So you have done this for so many years in helping women who aren't blessed um, with hair the way they'd want to and giving them a sense in terms of self-esteem and feeling good about themselves. And I wanted you to be on because you do something very unique in this. You help women as well that are sick, mm -hmm. that have trauma in their life and just want to help their self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you on because I'm not only a, a tremendous supporter of you of 25 years, but I'm also a client in terms of I wear your extensions. So it's very important to know that um, with some help, it can really change your life around for the better. So tell me, you, you've done this for so long. What are some great tips about hair? Um, I think one of the most important tips I can give is to um, keep up on your trims. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Once the hair starts splitting, um, it continues to split all the way up to the hair root when right. it breaks off and chips and starts over. I think that's a common misconception that women have. Right. The longer that they wait to get their hair cut, the longer their hair will grow. But that is absolutely inaccurate. Interesting. Um, another tip I would give is no matter what product you see on the shelf, there's nothing more powerful than organic coconut oil. Really? Mm -hmm. That's um, good to know. You have been doing this for 25 years? Actually, 15. Oh, 15. You're okay. giving me a lot more credit <laughs> than I deserve. Right. Um, but um, I studied art. Right. So maybe that's why you think it was much more. Because I started probably. my whole entire career with just going to college to study art. Sure. Um, I studied in France a little bit, in Italy, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, right. but more actually like art history. Right. And then I turned it into, um, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I dropped out of college mm -hmm. at the end of my junior year mm -hmm. and I started doing hair, just figuring yeah. out what I want to do with life and I got completely sucked into the industry. Yeah. And um, I enjoy it. It's fun. My brother would say I'm playing with Barbies or call it a basket weaving. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah. But I really enjoy it. I really do. I think there's a lot more depth than people um, seem to see from the surface. There's Very much so. Yeah. You transform lives. Yeah. And the hair you is. provide is for short hair, long hair, in between hair. But just a, a little bit can even make a difference in oh just my God, totally. changing a woman around. And I've seen that over the years. Yeah. And uh, this show is there to, if viewers uh, key in to find out things that can help them in health and wellness, yeah. self-esteem. These all are really important. Huge. So you said coconut oil. Is, yep. um So what makes that so beneficial? Um, it not only does it hydrate the hair, right. it, um, it also adds nutrition, which uh -huh. no conditioning treatment can ever provide. So um, it's it's really I think it's vital in the hair industry, but we uh -huh. don't really push it because it's not something you'll see on the shelf. Right. You have to actually send somebody to the grocery store, and unfortunately, in the industry, you're not making money off of it. But I'm not in it to make money, so yeah. I'm and, in it because it's actually a passion, and something I love to do. Right, and just every single time you show up, you, you teach something so that their clients go on, and it resonates with them, and it stays with them, and it becomes part of their process of their, their morning ritual. Yeah. So the coconut oil is something you put on the ends, and, mm -hmm. um, and is there specific, it's USDA organic, yeah. uh, I mm -hmm. assume? Grade A or B. Right. Yeah, right. just something yeah. that hasn't been um, refined, something very pure mm -hmm. and organic. I mean, they haven't ripped Wonderful. out all of the nutrients from the actual product. Wonderful. But um, you can you can use it for an hour, or you can just leave it in your hair. A little bit goes a tremendous way. Okay. Um, right. I like to recommend some of my clients use it on a Sunday while they're cleaning. Uh huh. And just put it in the hair, let it sit, it and then shampoo it out. Yeah. And um, but no, it will nourish. It won't only just leave it conditioned. It will really add. Um, it can really help with the ends, with splits, with you know, if you have overprocessed sure. hair, it's gonna. It's tremendous. It really right, is. Right. And it helps. Uh, and with extensions as well. Absolutely. So yeah. with hair extensions, you're. 
Um, it's disconnected from the follicle, obviously, because I'm, I'm adding it to the hair. Right. So because of the disconnection, it's, it's more dependent on natural oils coming from the scalp. But uh -huh. in our society, we are programmed to wash, 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 clean, clean, clean. Right. But hair, even your natural hair, really depends on the nourishment from your hair follicle. Right. So that's why as... Um, it's really important to not wash your hair every single day or every three days. You really? really want to extend. Yeah, I wash my hair once a week. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah because my hair... I, I know it looks great. Thank you. Um, do you Do you believe in... And I'm sure you shared with me about no blow dryers, no curling irons. Just let it air dry. Absolutely. As I mean, can. I will... I'll, I'll, I'll finish it off mm -hmm. because I have to. Because sure. Because it's my... You know, it's my job to... Sure you know, be in tip top shape. Sure. Um, but sure. I do let it, let it just go during the summer, especially right. because it, it has the prettiest beach wave to it already. Sure. Um, sure. But I mean, that's part of the blessing of having hair extensions. You really don't have to do anything. You bet. And the other thing yeah. is, is that when they're a uh, little piece taken out, whatever it is, that your hair is stronger. Yeah, it what is. What you use is stronger. Yeah. And uh, can test the time in terms of working with it. But for me, yeah. who doesn't like to fuss, it's great. Yeah. Because it's just there. It's done. Yeah. And um, and so many women feel um, feel depressed or they feel low because yeah. maybe they have lost it through cancer or disease. And you provide mm -hmm. a way that puts a smile on their face again. Absolutely. And yeah. I've witnessed it firsthand. Yeah. So you know that's very special, Diana. What you do. And everyone there is very caring and phenomenal at listening, yeah. which is a big deal to me. Me too. We can talk and talk, and, and you're amazing in terms of as a leader, a supervisor, and all you do, and so humble. But you. you are a phenomenal listener, and all your staff are as well. Mm, that thank you. Um, you, you said that you individually design for each woman that comes in. Absolutely. And that becomes very special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I because, agree. Yeah. So you also mentioned something very interesting, just curiosity as mm. far as, um, uh, I can't pronounce it, but bala. Oh, balayage. Yeah. Balayage. So we were talking a... about hair trends. Right, right. Um, and keeping up with the trends, which I'm not a big fan of, to be right. honest with you. Although I love trends because I, I, I mean, I think that as an individual, different trends can actually work towards certain people. Sure. Um, so when new trends come about, I think that it's brilliant because um, when you take all these young younger kids with right. you know college kids and sure. students who really don't they want to have the look of having their hair sure. lightened or sure. you know styled, sure. but they don't they they really can't afford it. So the right. obligation goes on their parent who's already you know shelling out an <laughs> right. arm and a leg, getting kids through school and getting right. them through college with cars. Sure. That who wants the added expense of sure. not only getting their nails done every you know month. <laughs> Or right. two weeks, but sure. also now I have to, you know, have that added expense of getting my my kids' hair colored. <laughs> so that's where I think this trend is absolutely brilliant with the right. hair painting because um, you really, I mean, I, I don't see some of my clients that I, I the younger generations that don't, sure. you know, suffer from grays like sure. we do. Sure. Um, I don't have to, I don't see them for up to a year. And I, in my mind, I think they're gone. <laughs> but then they appear and their balayage still looks great. Wow. It's still, you know, it just disconnects and connects in all the right places. Sure. And it's, it's a fantastic, you know, it's a fabulous addition to sure. the industry because it really, you don't have all these kids walking around with these ridiculous growths, of, you know, <laughs> like month growths because they have to go and ask their parents for their holiday gift, <laughs> get my hair done or sure. my birthday present. Like now it's obtainable and sure. it looks gorgeous throughout the entire year. I have clients come in and I take pictures because I'm like, wow, you could have won another year. <laughs> That's great. It's, I mean, it's fantastic. And while like it might not be beneficial to some people in the industry because they're not getting their, you know, their quota every three months of right. getting those kids back in the door to make the money off of them. Sure. I understand I was there. I didn't want to get my hair done every, you know, three months <laughs> or two months. I was that kid. Right. You know, it's, it's hard enough being a kid and growing up, especially in Westchester County. Sure. No. <laughs> it's expensive enough. I no, mean, then is. you have to add on all of these maintenances that we sure. create for these children. Right. And so balayage is fantastic. I mean, so basically mm -hmm. what balayage is, is it's hand painting. We do it it's not like a structured, organized foil. It's very, very free-handed. 
um, and you create disconnections in the pattern mm -hmm. and it really does allow you to go up to months without having to get your hair colored again. And I think it's fantastic. I, I like, really do. I like for health and wellness. I like the way how natural it looks. Totally. And it and, keeps uh, the hair in, in the integrity right. in such tip top shape. It really right. does. Yeah. Like the hair isn't breaking. You don't have to overlap. I mean, it's, sure. it's just done. Literally right. you come in, you get it done and you're done for like a year. <laughs> how did, I mean, it doesn't get better than that, especially no. for parents. No. Who are probably delighted with the trends that are following, you know? I had heard something last night, just curiosity, in terms of that women, uh, as they get older, want to keep their grays. Do you see a yes. lot of that? Yes. Uh, I get literally asked about how do I grow up my grays. I got asked that yesterday. Did you? Yeah. And I'm a fan of that, too. I sure. really am. People, I mean, probably look at me and be like, oh, she, you know, she's got the hair extensions. <laughs> Obvi you know, I'm, sure. I follow, you know, I, sure. I try to keep up on myself as well. But when it comes to natural, I right. actually am a really big fan. Are I'm you? a huge fan. I'll tell them every single yeah. step. There's there's multiple steps that you can get to to become a, a to go back to your natural gray. Mm -hmm. And one of it is just highlight it all out. Get your hair to a very light shade, <laughs> pale shade of blonde, sure. and let the grays grow. Because that sure. will actually give you that balayage look, believe it or not. Even if you use the foils, when it grows out, everything is growing out so light, mixed mm -hmm. in with that root of the gray, that you can actually get that kind of a look yeah. while you're growing out your grays. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting. I've heard that trend. Well, I have, I have to say, Diana, that I want to thank you. I want to thank you for making so many people smile. Thank you. I want to thank you for transforming women's lives. I want to thank you for uh, putting smiles on their face that they can keep going on. Thank you. That you, uh, as well as uh, all you know, you help people every single day. So we're almost ready to wrap up, and I wanted to know if you had anything last minute you want to share with my viewers as far as what you do or, or what you offer. Um, do you have anything you want to share? Any um, fairs or anything coming up? I think the, well, no, no fairs coming up. We just finished a big hair show, so um, I think that we might end up in Canada doing another hair show. Okay. But um, that will be in two weeks. Um, that's the only thing really coming up that's until it. the summer hits, and then it gets ridiculous again um, with shows and, in Florida. Excuse me, and you do travel? I do. To I do. I do if travel. Necessary, uh, if they're very sick and they can't get to you, you even do if travel. they come to me, I'll follow them home because that's um, I do. I work with, for instance, last week I had a, a lady in that has dialysis. She gets dialysis every day, that's so and she's to a point where her her legs kept on going numb in my chair, and I was literally like. You're amazing. I will follow you home if you're uncomfortable. I will do whatever you need. I will take you to a private room in the back. That's it so is amazing, very important Diana. that the client is incredibly safe yeah. and comfortable. Right. Because I want to feel safe and I want to feel comfortable yeah. when I'm in somebody else's chair too. Keep being amazing, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. It's really a pleasure to finally have you on. So remember when you eat well and eat select great foods and feel better, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, moderation and balance is key. Have a great night. Thank you so much.